everyone, it's Louise with Louise McCarrick, and I'm going to try to make another um, beginning of a clock out of this old CD. And uh, yeah, I'm trying to take my functional art to a different level here by making clocks. Still going to be working on trays, but wanted to try something different. So I've already got one done, and I've got a bunch of these CDs I'm going to see what I can do with. So what I have here is my scrap paint I'm going to lay down as a base. And this is my bloom paint. And what I've got here is the Deco Art 24 karat gold. It's a little bit thick, but I think it'll be okay. So I'm going to be swiping today. Nicolazzo Gold by Golden. This is Arteza's Pearl Sea Green. This is this is Deco Arts. Sky blue topaz. I gotta mix it up a little bit. That's a little bit thick, but you know, I'm not worrying about it being too thick because it's gonna be a swipe. And this is my anthraquidone blue by Golden. I've got the little teeny tiny bit of Australian Floetrol that I have yet to use. This is a tiny, tiny bit and my American Floetrol cell activator. And I'm gonna be swiping it with probably this swiping tool and we'll see what we get. Okay, I'll get you down in a second once I get the pillow poured out. Okay, so like with the usual swipes that's going to be spun, I don't need to fill it all the way to the edge because it's going to get spun out. So I'm going to make this very simple. I want to have a lot of negative space as I drop things into the painting, into the paint. Getting a little air bubble here, so let's pop up some of these air bubbles. Let's uh, put a little more right in the middle because that's where the hole for the CD is, but I've taped the back. So I'll be dealing with that after I resin this. All right, so real simple. So I'm going to pick up the pace here and double time through this part where I'm laying down the paint and also where I'm swiping it out. I'll chime in when I need to. So here I'm pouring on the cell activator, starting with the white, and you see I'm really pouring out the dregs of that. And then next will be the black, and then I'm gonna spread it out over the palette knife in preparation to swipe it over the paint that I've laid down. So notice as I'm swiping, it's the palette knife is mostly flat, but I do have a slight upward angle on the knife in the direction that I'm going into. Okay, let's give this a minute. All right. My heater just came on, so I may have to uh, voice over here in a second. Got a couple air bubbles. 
but underneath the air bubbles there's color. So I just pop them, see what comes through. Okay, in this case, there's white. So as I'm making my swipes or scoops and drags, I'm trying to imagine how that shape is gonna look once it's spun out. So it's not just the actual shape at the moment, but what I'm expecting it to look like after it's spread. wasn't expecting this to spread out as much as it is, but I think it's looking cool. I actually like it to spread out a little bit more. If I can get this pushed over and that little rainbow off, I would be calling it done. That was a good spin. That was a good spin. One more, I wanna get that little part off. Maybe not, let's take a look at this thing before I make too many hasty decisions here. So I got my negative space up here. Hmm. 
So here I'm just running the palette knife along the bottom, picking up the extra drips that haven't been scraped off yet. become a clock that somebody can enjoy. So that's a wrap everyone. Hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for tuning in and until next time, take care.